Welcome back viewers to another episode of Lucky Lucker. Last time round, we fed Naj the almost the entirety of Yemen. And we're now dealing with the rebels, which is fine. And also, we've now declared war on Savoy. So, uh, this war is going to be piss easy. In fact, we are already sieging down their capital, which is the only promise they have. As for here, we're just finishing off the rest of the rebels. So everything's going to be good. And pause. Ottomans replicating claims on us, which is lovely. Annexing you, which will slow down the moment I take this province, since I'll be giving it to you to feed. And we're going to uh, do one last major war over here. We're losing money right now. Promising. Okay. Glory to us. Game five prestige. Why not? Why not? Yes, yes, yes. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Okay, uh, good. And now you can get back over here. Split up though, to avoid attrition. So you guys can go this way. Run a long way. Okay, state modifier expired, land theft tolerated, influence 80%. 75%. Great. Right. Oh, we can get new cavalry. We can upgrade our one cavalry. Awesome. Now we need to do something about our clergy, so let's see. Let's revoke this. And let's revoke this. And nope. Uh, let's revoke this. They only need 15% land, so I should be able to revoke all of this over time. But for nobility, I would love to revoke their stuff, except I'll be dumb. Because I'm still trying to get them to be loyal. It's gonna take a while. As for you, hurtful trade policies. Oh, um... Oh, that is just nasty. They are already disloyal. Oh, that is just so nasty. I can't have them gain 75, I uh, gain another 10% influence. Okay, do they have any modifiers by expire? 79, 80, and 80. Seriously? Oh, okay, the 80 one is a negative already. Oh man, that is just nasty. Oh, that is so bad. Okay, so what if I make them loyal? And then I take away 10%. So let's see. They currently have 75, but I took away Cairo. Influence dropped by 8%. But I took away Alexandria as well, with another 4%. Still loyal. I don't have to take away Cairo. I could take away something else. But no, let's take away Cairo. They're going to be disloyal for a long time. Oh man, now they want more land? There. I should have done it a different way around. Still, Cairo is now not controlled by the state and is a glorious province. So that's, I guess, kind of a good thing. I guess. Are we still having policies active? I think I turned them off last episode or something. Or two episodes ago. Okay, no we're not. Okay, you guys get your assets over here. We don't need maintenance anymore. Let's turn the maintenance down. So now, thriving arms industry is gone. That's not good. So now, um, they are still upset with us, but at least we got 10% trade efficiency to counter that negative 10%. <sighs> it's not great, obviously, but it's what happens when you try to push the states as far as I am. You go to Milan. And take it. Give me your money. Cool. Nah, no one's even pissed. Okay. So, um, papacy. But very still paying off their debt. Okay, let's bring the army here, and I will definitely consider declaring a war. Will be the last major war I do in Europe. If you've got even call that major. 
I mean, ideally, I can take this tray center and these two tray centers. In fact, it would almost be a good thing if Morocco could take all this land, only for me to take it back later on through some roundabout method. By, I don't know, Portugal declared on Morocco? Portugal declared on Morocco. Okay. So obviously Morocco's gonna call in their ally, Flemson and Ottomans. Um So you had war with Portugal. Great Britain, Spain. So basically how about a papal state? And papal state. Oh opportunity knocks. I mean sure it's taking advantage of our mortal enemy, the Ottomans. Uh Marching through our lands once more. <laughs> oh god. And they're gonna march through my lands because I can't just say no to Spain asking for me for access. And Spain is going to ask me for access. And Spain's my ally. In fact, I already have. I already given them access. Oh man. Portugal, huh? I mean, here's the thing if you can somehow control the sea. If you can somehow control the seas, they should not be able to cross over at all. But seriously, opportunity knocks. Okay, let's bring our army back ASAP. And, and as much as I hate to say this, I hope Portugal gets to a point where he no longer wants to join in the war against me, I suppose. Or at least they'll be distracted enough. You're only allied to Great Britain, who are at war. Portugal, who are at war, and Lorraine, and you are yourself at war, so your army is also be distracted. Here, I already given them military access. Okay. Okay, they're stripping, they're gonna be stripping troops over though. <sighs> so basically, these countries versus this, huh? I do wish you the best, Portugal. We've gained holy war against the Ottomans. Because the Ottomans are now the Crusade target. You know, right now, I could actually try and really beat up the Ottomans. Huh. Because if I call in France, although no one else would be willing to join, if I were to call in France, then Ottomans would be facing France and me as well. But no, that sounds like a dumb idea. I mean, for the sake of keeping a balance of power, that's a great idea. But I much rather not get involved against the Ottomans. That seems like a poor choice. Certainly, that would be interesting. A crusade will certainly try to, uh, will certainly help uh, even the odds slightly, since Ottomans do have very good troops compared to ours. I do have this free diplomat. Hmm. Oh look. People say has, the entire army is being shipped across and died. France has broken the lines of Spain. Why would you do such a thing? Is it because Spain died to Austria? I guess it must be. Soul crisis has expired. Military divided. Siege ability, of course. I know, I always, almost always pick siege ability over for defense. I very rarely will ever pick for defense. Okay, well, come on guys. Oh, here are the Ottomans marching across my lands. 30k, what's this? Another 30k, and 45k, and 17k. This seems familiar. <laughs> the luck in Africa. The luck in Africa, Congo. Except Congo's down there, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh man. Where's my transports? There you are. Okay, you guys get over to Nice. The second fleet, Tunis, and no. I do not want the eighth fleet joining in. Um, how do I disable this? Say, wait, what? Okay, it's, it's disabled now. Let's try that again. There. Get your ass moving. Assume it doesn't bug out, which it does sometimes. But I certainly do not want that fleet 
sailing all the way across Af around Africa is. That would be stupid. Wow. Wow. So, the Papal State has a navy, which is trying to use the ship troops over. Morocco has one heavy, eight lights, 26 transports. Slaves has six lights. Ottoman has 18 heavies, 14 lights, 18 galleys, and 27 transports. And Thames has another 16 lights and 2 galleys and 5 transports. Wow. There goes part of the Papal Fleet's army. Do they even have an army anymore? That's a good question we should ask. Papal State. The Papal State. I believe they start with a T. Papal State. They still have an army. We have a bigger army than they do. Okay, you guys go here. Transports, get back over here. That looks bad. Oh, there's a Papal State's army. Well, Portugal's going to get occupied and besieged provinces soon, which means they might not even answer the core. So that's good. And right now, the Papal State is incredibly distracted. And I don't know what Great Britain's doing, but I actually do hope Great Britain goes and help. I seriously do hope that. Simply because if Great Britain does not help, well, if Great Britain doesn't help, then screwed. They need Great Britain's armies to help out. If they're going to withstand a set of a chance. I doubt they need to control the straits, which are doing a piss poor job doing. Who can blame them? Ottomans actually has a very big fleet. Oh look, the Ottoman stragglers. They must have lost some kind of race or competition. Okay, our armies are here. So this war, all we have to do is take these two and take Roma. We're not going to keep Roma. We're not going to even take Roma. We're going to just get these two and may possibly a Rezo because as part of my, um, what do you call it, uh, state already. Oh man, I want pizza back. I hate you. Austria, you guys are such horrible people. <laughs> I hope you get screwed over in the, uh, what do you call it, um, the holy wars, the religious wars. But either way, my armies are back together, so we could go to war very soon. Wait, my armies are back together, right? Is that all my armies? Okay, that's everyone. Okay, let's see what we have here. F Fifteen infantry, four cannons. Let's make that one more infantry, take five cannons, put over here. Six infantry, one cavalry, nine infantry, five cannons. I need one more cannon. You go over here. There is a fort here that needs to be sieged down. There's a fort here that needs to be sieged down. I will not have, well, I will have naval superiority simply because they don't have a real fleet to speak of anymore, thanks to the Ottoman fleet going around. If I were to declare right now, Portugal won't join. Bavaria is still in debt. I could pay that debt off. Okay, they will join now. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, most of that's due to reinforcement, and all that's due to reinforcements. That's good. Okay, well. You will be sieging down this. You will go siege down this. I will turn this fort on. And that should be all I have to do. And I'll call in both my allies. I'm going to... Ooh, I can send them to the culture. We don't want to actually be smart to uh, accept, and that will help converting Mecca and Medina. Yeah, let's do that. Because these two are both uh, Bedouin. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, but I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Um, and now... Ooh, let's just, let's just check. We can convert Medina now. But Medina's not actually a religious center. Mecca is. And Mecca, with the mystery of Bahasa, we can actually convert it. Awesome. Okay. Next thing we need to do... Oh, wow, that, this guy's good. But we can't afford him. 6.9 ducats a month. He is far too expensive. But if the war actually gets really going, like, what are you doing, Papal State? Are you, like, seeing my armies and getting a little worried? Papal State? What are you doing? 
Papal State? Why are you marching through France? Where do you think you're going? Hmm. And Portugal now joined. What is this? Attitude towards enemies, defensive war, papal diplomatic reputation. Interesting. Portugal's not actually losing anymore. What the hell? What is happening? I am actually surprised by this turn of events. Portugal, I need to be losing. At least for long enough for me to declare war. I'm not sure why the people's army is back in Roma again. That is actually a little confusing. What's going on? Has the Ottoman suddenly dropped out? No, the Ottoman has not dropped out. Okay, the uh, Spanish are getting completely and utterly wrecked by the Ottomans because they are complete and utter failures at fighting war. Hey Morocco, go and siege some of uh Go and siege some Portuguese land down, will you? Come on. You know you want to. Because right now I'm just waiting for uh Portugal to not be willing. War exhaustion, Lorena's in care, Great Britain's in care. I mean I could do this without uh, even with Portugal in the war. But it would be much easier if Portugal wasn't. So you wait a little bit longer. Also, Papal State, where's your army gone now? Papal State! Pope, what are you doing? How much money are we losing every month? 0.68. Not great. Well, we can turn this fall off for now because Ottomans are going to declare while we uh, while they're currently fighting a war. Okay. Trade wars. Come on, go and occupy something. Convert successful. Awesome. Convert some more. Okay, good. They're moving north, which probably means it's going to go and occupy the Zaboa. <laughs> Okay, so this is a boss being sieged. There we go. So, now I shall release Provence. They get Dagenon. That's fine. I get Black Flag for some unknown reason. Uh, General has died. That's not great. Milan is unhappy. Let's placate you. Um, what next? Okay. Next, I still don't know where our army is, but that's hopefully fine. I'm going to declare. No one will join. I'm going to reconquer Avignon, Provence, and yep, use on those two other cores, which I could try and take back at a later date. Especially if I attack Brittany, but Brittany is allied to Spain, so that's annoying. And guaranteed by France, too, of all people. That could be really frustrating. Obviously, I don't want to attack you. And I also don't care about Baroy. Because it would be too much of a pain for me to go up there anyway. And I don't want that land. So, let's do this. Calling in my two allies. Great Britain should not be a problem. I mean, look at this. This is a very important war. And where's the British Army? Where's the British Navy? Guess what? Both are nowhere to be found. So, I'm going to ignore that. We are going to make the war go, retake Provence, because Avignon will be both a pain. And let's do this. Oh. Oh. Your army was right here. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, that's a bad start. No general, too. I need some decent generals. I have almost no army tradition. Oh my god. Russia to kill on Timurids. 29, 5 more days, huh? Well, I just got stack wiped. Oh, that was just pathetic. 
Ah, all because I completely not noticed that. Oh, that is just... Oh, and now I use one Liberty Milan. Look at you again. Oh my god. Seriously. Switzerland accepted offer from France. Awesome. Milan? Okay, Bavira help me out here. Oh my god, I can't believe I started off with a stack wipe. <laughs> or because it knows his army was right sitting on my army. Who does that? Like seriously, who does that? Okay. Bavaria, I need your help here. Bavaria? And good. Pope's taking care of that for me. Not Pope, but Ottomans. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> oh my god. So that's four cannons and like a whole bunch of infantry down the drain. All because I messed up. Okay, we can chase him to wherever he goes. But he's probably going to go to Nepali because I believe he has access to Spain since he's allied to Spain? No, he's not. Does he have military access? Of course he has because he's in a war with Spain. So he's going to go down there, which means I could, the only thing I can do is siege down Roma. But Vera has... Oh, wow. Thanks, allies. You guys are awesome. So my allies are both helping me uh, out by buying extra armies from other uh, states using their own money. We're still outnumbered, badly, but that's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Lorraine. Okay, that's not good. Trier is uh, balancing the out slightly. Okay, I'm going to have these transports come over here and uh, block that. Uh, you go back here. I'm going... Hmm. That's not good. I expect to have twice the army I do. Please tell me I turn that forward on. Good. And we'll have to turn this forward on as well. I was expecting the Papal States army to be much more distracted than this. This is very bad. Like, very, very bad. Also, Mila oh, is now Naj is getting on my case? Ah, there goes all my prestige. I need to rebuild my army. I mean, at least we've got the money to do so, right? So that's a plus side. Oh my god, you're just burning through our fort. Whereas I am not, because I only have level 2 forts, you have level 4 forts. So be it. I can't believe I, did, I completely missed where his army was. That was just so bad. Okay, thank you. Go to take care of that for me. <laughs> That's what I are for. <sighs> wow, Pepper says fine really well, I have to say. I'm impressed. I shouldn't be impressed, but I am very impressed. I'm gonna build a slightly bigger army. That's 10k infantry. Um Let's make that 12k infantry and go from there. I don't want to go too many too close to things because if I do, they might uh, get stack wiped by their papal army. This armor blockading much. Damn, Roma is hard to blockade. Um, I need more. I should have more somewhere. I want to take one of these. Caravel, these light strips, please. So you're protecting Sevilla. Okay, don't protect Sevilla, go here. You're protecting Alexandria. Um, keep doing that. We're currently getting a minus two penalty here. It's pretty bad. Let's convert more things. Jerusalem. Okay, our army is coming back slowly. Now, this all hinges on Great Britain being pathetic, so let's hope Great Britain stays being pathetic. And so far, they've done nothing in this war, so I would expect them to stay being pathetic for a long time. Okay, Syena is mine again. This is only 86% blockaded. Still minus two. I need more boats. What are you two doing? Your two caravels doing nothing. Okay, come here. I don't know why you're doing nothing. 
these war guys are uh okay sure okay 12k infantry Vermont has a small army there my well, allies armies are here 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 and here oh, it's just my vassals it's funny how my vassal has the same army size as my allies I mean that really speaks a lot about just how much development Milan is. Like if we actually just do this, I know you, I know, I know, I should be just doing the war, but let's do this quickly. If so about development, Milan is somewhere around here, 165. Table still only has 150. Switzerland only has 146. But that actually says a lot. If I made Milan a march, they'll have an even bigger army than they do right now. Oh shit! Um, you guys, go help out. Swiss are good, but I don't know how good they really are. Um, I need to actually start fabricating on you, on Hamuz. Because I need... Well, I don't need, but I like some of this land. Also, Timurids, what the hell is happening to you? Heh, <laughs> so they... They attacked Hamuz, couldn't take over all this land here because Hamuz had naval superiority. And then Russia attacked, now Hamuz is just winning. Ah, Hamuz, you've done it again. It's always funny to see the kind of comebacks Hamuz does. Because Hamuz always does crazy things to get back into the game. And they start off being very weak, but at the same time, they have a huge advantage over their neighbors by having the naval superiority. Can't be underestimated how strong naval superiority is when you're just an island. Well, that's not good. I see Milan's army is running away. The Lorraine army is heading eastwards. Hopefully Milan will be able to enforce that. Lacquer, Occupied Romain. Okay, that's not good. Ah, uh, that's really not good. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. Shit. They were around 7th. 7th, you say. What if I do this? You're right, it's still on the 7th. Shit. They got 3k infantry. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just doing this war really poorly. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Stop keeping my troops scattered. Seriously, that's really ru ru ruining me right now. Okay, that's going to be a win. Awesome, thank you French troops. You're the best. I can't say the same for my own troops. or Not so much my own troops, it's more me. It's, I'm the one making all the mistakes, not my troops. So, so far we've lost something like, I don't know, 15, like 15 to 20k in the initial army stack wipe. Which, oh my god, uh, guys, can someone go help my capital out? <laughs> Shit, okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave one of these armies behind. Everyone else. I can't have them siege down my capital, that's bad. Good. Oh wow, we're getting wrecked. What the hell? Do they have like extra tech on us? 14 versus 14. Um, I would very much like this morale advisor, thank you very much. We're getting utterly wrecked. I mean, sure we have a worse general as well. Wow. Okay, we didn't actually lose as much as I thought, but still. That was bad. We're just doing so poorly. Okay, I'm going to his house. Give this both to Provence. And now, just need to take care of the Papal States army, so then we can go and take care of Lorraine, and hopefully Great Britain stays too distracted. This war's gonna finish soon. Is that your capital, Bavaria? No, it's not. Okay, it's fine then. Who's attached here? Milanus. Good. Let's hope it stays that way. Uh, I'm going to take one of these stacks out. Uh, seriously? 28th, 29th, 30th... Um, I was just passing through, damn it! Oh, I'm getting so badly wrecked here! <laughs> I'm doing important. Okay. 
I need a bigger army. And part of the problem here is that I have a big enough army that I should be able to do well, but I'm simply not. That start was simply shoddy and just very poorly done. I should have been able to, if I knew the army was there, I would have stack wiped it first thing first with my entire army, and then everything would have been simple from there onwards. Okay, I also need a Tartis in general. So far, what well, drills are utter shit. We have not the army tradition to get a good general, but that's utter crap. I want to push this button, but I can't. Okay, I'm going to turn my leader into a general. Thank you. <laughs> What's the last time you've seen a, 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 I don't know, what do we call this? A dodge lead troops into battle like this. That's going to get a stack wiped, yep. I can't just march you in like that. Oh my god. You get out as well. Like uh, unfortunately it's just grasslands. Um, I'm gonna borrow these cannons. Okay. And the cannons can come back there afterwards. I'm sorry. I'm s sorry? God damn it! That one infantry arrived first with my good general. <laughs> and because of that, he got stack wiped. That's just so bullshit. Attach to this. Don't attach my cannon. Don't attach to these guys. Milan, don't do your own thing. Milan, follow. Okay, everything should be fine from now on. Should. There, I have 50k troops plus vassals. God damn it. Go stay in Umbria and do nothing else. My allies can go take care of all this crap. That was the most worst, horribly done war ever. Okay, that's not good. Um, that's not good either. Britain actually sitting in ships here. Britain, go and find the Ottomans! <laughs> uh, okay, you guys, go home. What is your ships in your way? You got five light ships in the galley. And okay, just go home. Where are you landing? Nice on the 8th next month. <laughs> the damn papal army, huh? Yeah, 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 we'll do with you in a second. Should be a nice easy kill on the British. Election time, naturally keeping the same guy in power. He's also a good general as well. Okay, they're gonna get away. It's not a stack wipe, that's okay. Just need to get back here before they see down my freaking capital over 21%. It better not. That's not good. Good, we've arrived in time. I just need to not lose. Which might be asking for a lot, considering how poorly we fight. I'm actually astonished how poorly we fight. I'm doing feel we have no cannons, so our composition is terrible. I'm also paying a huge amount of money for, let me guess, uh, reinforcements. Yep, 8 ducats a month. Go to Saina. I seriously need Rome to 4. I need Rome to 4, come on. I could probably finish this war the moment Rome falls. I don't have to even have to do that much. <laughs> this papal state is just, man. It's currently in, in corner. Oh, that's good. Um, nothing more to convert, huh? Because we can't. Um, unless we can get... No, we can't. Uh, Inquisitor. Come on, 35%. Do it. Do it. There we go. Rome has fallen. You are around 14th, we're around 13th. Well, that's annoying, we don't have military access. Okay, you go to Umbria, you go to Arezzo. Ot 
announcement as we play Spider Work. We are surprised. You were around 17th, we're around the 19th. Let's see what you do. You stay there. I don't care. I'm going to attack you. We actually have cannons this time around, so we're going to blow you away. And I need to ask for military access from Spain. So. Oh man, that, that's unfortunate. So is that. Uh, come home. And we can't currently go into Spain, but in three days, two days, one day, okay, there we go. Ask for military access, we are allies after all. And I think at this rate, I might seriously consider attacking Spain. Instead of keeping the alliance. Yes, we're attacking the mountains. Ooh. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll be able to stack wipe that. Oh, an actual battle, huh? There we go, stack wipe. And now we kill that British army. Spain's having a piece of Morocco. Oh boy. You know, Morocco, you're an idiot. Why do you take these provinces? What you really want is Savella. Porto. I mean, look how good Savella is. You want Savella? <laughs> you fool. Okay, right now, can I get what I want? That's probably a good question to ask right now. I can. That will cause a coalition, apparently, of just the Ottomans. Okay. Can I get more? I could. Should I get more is a good question. And I think the answer is, I would like to have more. I always want more. Holy shit, Pope, you're rich. Okay, so even though this war is so badly done, okay, I'm going to fully occupy you and see if I can get more out of you. So now it's just greed talking, but whatever. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Go be on the British for me, will ya? Okay. Kill off this army. Have a good look around here. If we can capture a death fort, that'd be really nice. Okay, that failed. Still, be really nice. Okay, Lorraine, you are now, do you? You know, Lorraine, I could do death to you. I could. I really could. You don't want to, obviously. And I'll piss off a lot of people. But what if I did it through here? Provence, and I can force to return that. It is, oh, I can't. I can't. Because it's your capital. Wait, no, it's not. Baroy is right here. Okay, if someone were to occupy Baroy, but it has a freaking fort on it, that's annoying. Again, I don't really care that much about it. I much rather have entire land to myself. Okay, British. Or Britain. Okay, we'll leave some troops behind. There we go. Go there, and you go there. Okay, British troops, where are you going? Whatever. Uh, Spain, are you still my ally, by the way? Spain still has me as an ally, still has Austria as an ally, still has Portugal as an ally. Okay. There we go. No more British troops. Let's fully occupy uh, Papal State. France longer rendering our stuff, that's okay. If this can fall, that'd be nice as well. I can get more money out of this. Currently, my participation is only 56%. That's fine. That means I only get half the money. Since I caught everyone else in our favors. We lost our claim on large land. That's okay. 28%. There we go. Awesome. Let's wait for orders to be occupied. That's going to push our war score up quite a bit. Awesome. Awesome. And... Papal state is now... Come on. There we go. So, if I say I wonder all of that, I'm let's say not that much money. Give me war reps. Give me as much money as you're willing to give me, because apparently you're loaded. There, 546 ducats. That'll help me out quite a bit. I only get half of that, I believe. I get 310. 
Okay, things look good, and I get to have these two provinces for relatively little aggressive expansion. If I were to take Romanga, a lot of people would be upset. So let's start trying to push this. I don't see that being worthwhile. Oh, I'm allowed to take that, am I? I right, go to Switzerland. Funny, but I don't want to. That looks good. Lacking Conquest of Provence. So, we lost 126,000, we killed 130. It really should not have been that bad. We should have lost far less, but I kept messing things up from the very beginning of the war. <laughs> but at least it was a quick war. And Papal State, do you hate me? See? They don't even hate me for it. Awesome. So, Lacan with Conquest of Provence. The Papal State will see a Rezo to Lacan. We'll give cause blah blah blah, Provence at Avignon to Provence, 10% of income. That should really help me with my, well, <laughs> income. Now, if only I could have pizza back as well. Oh, that sucks. This is part of my capital stairs. Now all devastated. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Things happen. I shall call this land. Oh. Spain no longer desires me to be an ally. I'll be as an ally. Well, that's interesting. Why would you think such a thing, Spain? Why don't you want me as an ally anymore? What, because I attacked the Pope? Is that why? Come on, Spain. Don't be like that. Oh. Because you rivaled France. Okay, that explains things. You know, right now, I could actually try and wreck France. Between me and Spain, we could totally wreck France. And I could take uh, Dauphin, uh, Lyonne and Delphine back. Uh, Lyonne for myself, obviously, and... Well... Delphine for Provence. Even though all of this is Provence culture, but it's not their cause unless they take it over. The culture being this, which is called... Uh, Ossetan? Occitane? I don't know. Well, I guess that's pretty much time anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, I'll see you next time for more of Lucky Lucker. Until then, I'll see you later.